From the medieval city of Canterbury, England, we bring you a program entitled Music from Canterbury Cathedral. Oh, praise ye the Lord. Praise him in his sanctuary. Praise him with the organ. Let everything that hath breath praise the Lord. Canterbury is England's ecclesiastical capital. The cathedral became the goal of the Canterbury pilgrims and the town prospered from this early form of tourism. With its impressive architecture, fine medieval stained glass, great tower rising 235 feet in splendid pointed Gothic style and magnificent setting,
Built in 1886 by Henry Willis, the Oregon and Canterbury Cathedral has over 60 stops and three manuals. The original organ had four manuals, but was completely rebuilt from 1979 to 1980. The organ is one of the great cathedral organs in England.
Julius Caesar arrived on the Kent coast from Rome in 55 BC and was followed by the Emperor Claudius, who established Roman rule. Rome paid Canterbury another visit in AD 597, certainly the most important of all, when Pope Gregory sent St. Augustine to preach the word of God to the English race. The King of Kent accepted the mission, which ultimately led to establishment of the city as the center of Christendom in England and placed the first symbolic stone in the historic building of present-day Christian Canterbury. Augustine became the first Archbishop of Canterbury and with it, the primate of all England. Canterbury is a thriving modern city, yet still is enclosed in some of its medieval walls with one of the old gates standing today. The world-famous cathedral, picturesque old streets and buildings, provide an imaginative backdrop for remembering the famous pilgrimages celebrated by Chaucer in his renowned Canterbury Tales.
The city walls are a highlight of any visit to Canterbury. The Norman walls originally had 21 towers and eight gateways, of which the West Gate, finished around 1381, is the sole magnificent survivor. The cathedral was built by Archbishop Lanfranc on the foundations of a church given to St. Augustine in AD 602, but destroyed by fire in 1067. Much rebuilding was necessary following a further fire in 1174. But even today, the magnificent building stands as a symbol of the skills, artistry, and above all, Christian faith of successive pilgrims and citizens of Canterbury. Cathedral is probably best known as the site of the martyrdom in 1170 of Archbishop Thomas Becket. But the tombs of Henry IV and his queen and Edward the Black Prince are among the many other important monuments within the cathedral.
Henry Purcell is known as one of England's greatest composers. Known for his ceremonial music, we hear now one of his most famous pieces known around the world, the trumpet tune in D major. Today on The Joy of Music, we have brought you a special program from Canterbury, England, entitled Music from Canterbury Cathedral. We thank you for joining us, and we look forward to seeing you again next week on The Joy of Music. The Joy of Music and Diane Bish wish to thank British Airways, the world's favorite airline, for their support in helping make this program possible.